So, this video is going to be my um, reflexology video on the foot. I did one on the hand. Um, I had someone helping me though, but this time I'm just going to be showing you my foot. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoy. So, what we will be doing is looking at the planter part of the foot, which is the bottom part of the foot, and the foot we are looking at is my right foot, even though it may look to you like I'm looking at the left foot. We are looking at the right foot, and I'm going to be showing you the different parts of it, so if you'll think of it, just like the hand, like think of a body with the head at the top and then the feet at the bottom. That's where these pressure points correspond to the foot. So if you'll think like that, it's relatively easy to follow the parts of the pressure points in relation to the foot um, and in relation to the rest of the body. So I'm going to get started and we'll start with uh, the toes at the top. So, first off, at the very tip top is the brain area, and that's at the very top of all five of the toes. The very, let's say, first eighth portion of the toe is the brain area. And then right underneath that is the head and brain and teeth area. Right after that is in the midsection, and that again is for all five. And then there's a tiny band underneath that's for the sinuses. Goes right underneath that, um, and then right below that is for the neck area. Right under the big toe, you've got the neck area here, and then right in the middle of the neck area. You have, on your right side, you and your left, you have got the thyroid area. It's a small spot right in the center there where I'm pressing. Okay, so that's there. And that would be corresponding to the thyroid. And then there is a small spot right here it is for the larynx, small spot right there in between um, the big toe and the index toe. And then right below that, and of course this makes sense, would be for the trachea that goes right down below in a line below the larynx. So that goes in a smooth line below it. As you can see where I'm running my finger. Right after that, in this area, is what you would call the heart. Heart area is right there. Makes kind of a U shape. And that is on both feet. And right above the heart area, though, I'm not really touching it, is the lung area. But also, the lung area is in this bigger area. Right? Um, next to the heart. This bigger area where the soft palate part of the foot is. So that is that area of the foot. And then right in the center is for the solar plexus. It's like a small dot right in the center. Right next to the heart and the trachea area. And then after that, there's a small band that's for your diaphragm. It's a very thin band. Goes right there. And after that, there is a small area that is for your stomach on the right side. It's a small U-shape, kind of like the heart, but it's underneath, and that's for the stomach. This differs from the left side in that the left side has the small area as the liver. Right here. 
but on the right side it's the stomach. And then as you move further down, this bigger area that's next to the stomach is actually for the liver on the right side. Now again on the left side the bigger area is for is the reverse. The bigger area is for the stomach and the smaller area is for the liver. But because I'm doing my right foot, the bigger area is for the liver and the smaller is for the stomach. So there are a few uh, small differences. And then the adrenal gland is right there in that small spot between the two. Right in there. And below that, you have your kidney area. Oh, and let's go over to the side over here. I kind of skipped this. In the upper area up here, you've got uh, the top of the shoulder, the very edge of your pinky toe. Top of the shoulder, the very edge right there. And then right below that is the shoulder and arm area. Shoulder and arm. And then as you go down, it's the elbow, the elbow, the knee, and then further down is the leg. I'm showing you as I'm rubbing. I kind of skipped that. Wasn't planning on it, but I did. So, as you can see, that's the edge of the foot. And that corresponds to both the left and the right feet. So, moving on, we are going now to, I think I have to adjust my foot, <laughs> so you guys can see. Uh, moving on to the lower part where the kidneys would be, which would be right in there. We would have the kidneys, and right in that midsection there and then along the side of the kidneys would be the bladder right in there and on the right side you would also have um, your colon area kind of makes a used shape That might be kind of hard to see. I think it kind of got off camera, but it's a colon area that kind of makes a use shape. And then below that, again, I'm sorry guys, it's it's getting, well, I'm still talking about the colon there. The, as it goes up, it's the descending colon. It goes up further all the way to where the kidney is. And then below that, you have the area that is the sacrum. It's a really thin line right below where your heel starts. And also on the side here, I'm talking about the thoracic spine, but there's, we're talking about the sacrum area. And then Below that, the main part of the heel is the accessory pelvis, the hip, the knee, the ankle, and the foot. So all that is located all in the bottom part of the heel. And again, the difference in the right and the left is the left would have the ascending colon on it as opposed to the descending colon. Um, on the right side. And another thing I forgot to mention up at the top up here, right up here between these two toes there is an area um, right under the sinuses that are for the eyes and also right there is for the ear area. I didn't mention that before but between those those two toes. 
and for the inner ear as well. There's a small spot there. So again, the difference between the right and left, there's not much of a difference, although there is a little bit of one. But for the most part, they are the same. Um, there are a, a few a few subtle changes and there are some things you will not find like in one area of the right foot there is the gallbladder right in here but there's not on the left the left has the let's see the right has the gallbladder the left has the spleen I believe that's right the right has the gallbladder, the left has the spleen. So those are two differences that, that you would find between the left and right. And also, I forgot to mention the three glands up here, the pituitary, the pineal, and the hypothalamus are located in three different spots up around the big toe, on the bottom of the big toe. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> that's right up there up top and that is on the left and the right feet and again what is on the plantar part of the foot basically corresponds the same as what's on the dorsal part which is the top part of the foot for the most part so if you were doing pressure points you would touch from one side to the other creating pressure on both sides so if you were touching the inner ear, you would touch it on the dorsal side and the plantar side, creating a pressure. But again, guys, that is the parts of the, uh, the plantar parts for the reflexology of the foot. I hope this might have been relaxing for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye guys.